Hi everyone, I'm Scott from Sharky's Floral and Greenhouses and today we're out in our apple orchard and we're talking about pruning apple trees. We get this question a lot uh, because we have an apple orchard and um, a lot of people have you know a few apple trees at home and they say hey Scott you know how do we how do we prune these so that's that's the topic of today and that's what we're gonna address so first thing you want to know is it needs to be pruned in the dead of winter so it's about 20 degrees it's late January that's the time that we do our apple orchard and we make sure that we pick a time that it's it's good and cold because these trees need to be dormant and they need to be dormant where the the energy is is back down into the tree and you know the the juices are not running out into the uh, the stems and the branches you know during like early spring where everything's starting to bud and flower that's not the time to to go through and prune up your apple trees it needs to be dead of winter so so that's the timing so it needs to be good and cold and don't be intimidated by it okay so you know a lot of people will be like oh, I, I just i don't know where to begin just you know what look, look how many trees we have all right if we're fussy over what we're trimming we would never get this job done so you just get in there and you you really start cutting and what you're looking for is we want the branches to have full sunlight apple trees need a lot of sunlight so when you're looking at those branches is this going to get full sunlight yeah this one's pretty good but where there's other branches that are that are competing I'm gonna go through and get rid of these branches are going to be competing over here so I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna get rid of some of these so just nip them off this this is gonna be a whole mess of competing branches so I'm gonna go through there and, and just thin this out a little bit all right I'm just gonna toss the branches down. I'm gonna I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna grab them later. Uh, we, we come through with a sled or the tractor and I'll just grab those later, but we do wanna get the branches out of the orchard. We don't wanna leave that in here uh, because you, you can spread disease. So we wanna get the branches out. So again, looking for full sunlight. And the other thing is these branches that are either going straight up or straight down. We don't want those either. They, they really don't produce. So we call them suckers and so you can see this is a real um real big one and we don't want that so we're going to go through and we're going to get rid of that so these are just all going straight up i'm going to go through i'm going to nip all of those off so we're going to get full sunlight on these branches so looking for where these suckers are they just, they just don't produce so you, you want to get rid of those first and you want to kind of identify your suckers Again, they're going straight up or they're going either straight down too. You go through, nip them off. So that's really what you're looking for is full sunlight, okay? This is sitting under this branch. It's not gonna get sunlight that it needs, so I'm gonna go through and just trim it off. Now, again, don't be intimidated by it. Um, we're gonna go through, we're gonna prune these really, really heavily. You come back in the summer and it's like, oh my goodness, they just exploded with growth. It's like we didn't even do anything this winter. I guarantee they'll grow right back, okay? So don't get intimidated by uh, trying to figure out which ones to do. Just get in there, clean it up, uh, the, the tree will grow right back. Anything that's interfering with another branch, go through it. We really wanna look for that 45 degree angle. That's, that's really a good angle coming coming up because the apples start forming it's going to put some weight on that branch so if we have branches that are coming straight down or they're going straight up or they're at a you know not that 45 degree angle I'll go through there and, and cl clean it and trim it up and the other thing like we have to get in here and and cut grass so this might be in my way anyway and it's gonna you know smack me in the face so I might trim it back just so I have a little bit more room to cut grass. And at home, think about where you want that tree, what kind of shape you, you want it. You want that kind of a umbrella look to it. So having a good set of shears is, is absolutely critical. So these, are, uh, these, these have some miles on them and they, and they last. This is made by Fiskars. It, it's kind of a gear, uh, geared uh, shears. They're nice and heavy duty and they can easily cut through uh, the branches. So having a nice set of shears make, makes it a lot easier. So 
that's really in a nutshell um, how to trim your trim and prune your apple trees don't let it be intimidating to you just get in there go through look for that sunlight and where the branches need to to come out so it's kind of it's kind of art you know you want to make that tree into what you need it to be so thanks for watching have a great day